I did see this, and it filled me with an enormous amount of schadenfreude. What is the purpose for those yellow poles when you pull out of a bank? Bank owners, look what your yellow pole did to my car. And I don't even think it was my fault. He's done. You're dead. You're dead. You're dead. And stop. Don't worry, Captain. We'll buff out those scratches. I think that they should put bollards everywhere. Absolutely everywhere. I want them on sidewalks. I want them on residential roads. I want them everywhere outside of schools and banks and restaurants. I want like I want them to be absolutely everywhere, okay? I want I want my tax dollars to go to a civic program where where the city sends fleets of helicopters over over the streets that you live in and drops bullards into the ground that impact and 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 land and stand up straight. You know? Don't you Americans have something like qualified tests for driver's licenses like Germany? The only thing they test you for in like American driving school to get your license is to make sure you're capable of using a McDonald's drive through If you can drive up, wait in line, get your McDouble, get it, leave, uh, they give you the license. Yes. My like handlebar came off and I'm gonna need to get it all new wrapped. Oh my god. I oh can't my see god. The car from here. <laughs> my wheel is so like You can tell how big the car is just from this shot by the way. Seriously, look at the wheel. Like look, see? You you can tell this is a giant <laughs> My wheel <laughs> is so oh my god. They're like 2 feet tall. Who can even see those things? If you can't see a bollard, you couldn't see a small child. Literally, like, uh, how, how are you supposed to see something two feet tall around your car? And then you hear a crunch, and you freeze, and then you keep going. She heard a crunch, the car shook, he froze, and then she kept going. Oh my god, I genuinely, like, her license should be revoked for this video. I can't believe she would admit to this. Insane. Here's Crunch Keeps Going. Unbelievable. Is she stupid? Yes, obviously. And then, next thing you know, you're at an auto body shop and you've got nearly $30,000 worth of damage for something that I don't even know the purpose of. Look at how high the roof is above her head. Yeah, Jesus Christ, look at that. You gonna get Michelangelo to paint on that ceiling? Look at that. Jesus. No, she isn't, Benjamin. Oh, you need a new door, a new panel, a new axle. Gotta get the car rewrapped. Oh, you're- 30K rip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The guy who quoted 30K is lying, and I support him, okay? This is my, like, Huey Long-ist attitude towards workers' advocacy, which is that the real, like, proletarian socialism will be built off of massively overcharging women like this when they f up and grind their car into a bollard for 20 seconds while driving out of a bank parking lot, okay? That's real socialism. Her handle fell off. Just want to know what the purpose is of those yellow poles. And I can't be the only one that doesn't see them. The purpose of those yellow poles is to do the exact thing that they just did. That is the exact, they are, it, the bollards exist to transfer money from women like this to shop owners, to auto shop owners. Yeah, literally. Literally, man. Oh my god. I hate these people. I hate these people. Are there more videos like this? I'm, I'm normally, like, not that inclined towards rage bait, but I could watch videos like this my entire life and never get tired of them. Yeah, I guess this whole Twitter account is dedicated. Oh man, could I, wait, could I just spend my entire stream watching this? Ooh. Well, moron. You you literally saw it. Follow. Whoa!
All right, calm down there. Calm that down there, buckaroo. Is this motherfucker just driving in the bike lane? How far do bullards go into the ground? I don't know. It's probably varies. This dog loves the bullards. Drivers are both the dumbest and most entitled people. I, I genuinely think that cars, like, as a as an instrument, as a technology, m like, de-citizenize the people in them. That when you're walking or when you're on a bus or a train, you're an active member of the society that you exist in. Like, you are present and engaging with the systems that are built around you and the people that are in those systems. And if you're a car... The, the, te the technology shifts your mindset. You are an individual actor desperately trying... Yeah, it's rolling atomization, desperately trying to make it from one point to another. And it makes people unhappy, too. Oh, this is from China. Good, good, good. Gotta spread it out. Oh, this person retweets. Hmm. Yeah, I've seen 11 foot 8. I saw the donkey video on it, then followed it for a bit. Fried egg bollard. Huh. Oh, this is the Cybertruck bollard. We'll talk about those. Yeah, I want the videos. Give me the videos. Dude, these are so cool. They're retracting bollards. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Got the police. The, the sight of this would instantly kill any American, by the way. If, if an American saw this little stop right here with the retractable bullard and the two lights and, like, all this, this would instantly, like, lethal to an American driver. All good, Genericana. Oh my god. Okay. I, 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 could, I could do this for a while. I, I, gotta, I gotta stop. Unless... <laughs> Should have went if spec savers. <laughs> what is that? What a lovely accent. Brilliant. Should have went if spec savers. <laughs> yeah, idiot. Yeah, should have went if spec savers. Yeah, what the fucking brilliant. Hey, brilliant. Absolutely delightful. Huh? I don't even know what's going on with this one. Oh, someone was asking how deep bullards go. Look at these. Look at that. God damn, that shit is rooted. You are not knocking those up. Holy hell. All right.